live as if your father was dead. Now that's a concept from the book, The Way of the Superior Man by David Ayala, which is a book I recommend every single man reads. Now, let me explain this topic before people get all fucked up. Boys, when we're growing up, if you were lucky enough, you would have had a father figure in your house. You would have had a father figure who was there for support, who was there to help you out. That means if you had a problem at school with the bully who maybe beat you up, took your lunch money, you can go to your dad and ask for advice and he would tell you what to do. Or maybe you were unsure of yourself and you wanted to ask a girl out in school and you didn't know how to go about it. You can go to your dad and he'll tell you how he did it. If you're having issues, you could always count on your dad. He was always there to give you advice, to give you wisdom that he learned from his father and the wisdom that he learned from his father and so on. So we always had someone that we could rely on. Someone that was there to have our backs. But there comes a time when every boy has to grow up. When every boy has to learn how to be his own man. And when you get to the stage, you have to start living as if your father were dead. This doesn't mean ignoring your father and pretending he's dead. That's not what it means. It means you have to now develop your own values, your own metrics, your own opinions, your own course in life, and figure out how to become independent on your own. You're no longer going to rely on your father to solve all your problems. You're no longer going to go to your dad each time there's a problem. If your car breaks down the side of the road, you're not going to call your dad and ask him what to do. You have to be able to figure out what to do yourself. Do you know how to fix it up yourself or do you know how to get the resources that are going to get fixed up? If you have a problem with your insurance, you're not going to call your dad and say, hey dad, what should I do with this insurance? You're going to have to figure it out yourself. If you want to go into a new job, you have to weigh out the pros and cons yourself. You're not going to rely on your dad. That's becoming a man. Becoming a man is gaining a sense of independence. Is being able to create a map over the world so that you can walk through the world at ease. Knowing that you will be alright. Regardless of whatever circumstances come your way. Perhaps you have to move countries, learn a new language. You should have the assurance that you'll be able to do it. You're not going to be the boy anymore that's crying. That's going to his dad for help. That's going to his mom for help. You're going to be the man that knows how to solve his own issues. This is... A huge part of masculinity and a huge part of growing up and becoming a man. Being able to solve your own issues or being able to figure out where to get the right resources. Because no one's here to take care of you, especially as a man. Think about it. You turn on the news, you hear stories, tragic stories about women dying, kids dying. But no one gives a fuck about men. If a man dies, it's expected. It's natural. You're meant to die. You're meant to go to war. So no one gives a shit about you. People do care about women and kids. But as a man, it's expected that you know how to navigate the world by yourself. So that's what this concept means. Live as if your father were dead. Of course, don't fucking ignore your dad. Keep, keep calling your dad. Keep doing all that stuff. But learn to live your own life. I think this is incredibly important. Learn to live your own life. Your parents gave you the wisdom, they gave you the opinions, the expectancies. You can take it, but now it's up to you to decide what you're going to do with it. You're your own man, and this is your life. So that's the concept. You know, guys, what do you think of that? Leave a comment below. Are you your own man, or are you still living in your father's shadows? More videos like this coming soon. Peace.